some trips that have been tricky or have simply not gone according to plan. Leaving Sentinel Ranch near Bight Bridge for Chisarira in Zimbabwe. Is there water? Have you got water yet? Yes. Yes, let me see. Digging for our water in the dry, juicy little bit. Yes, On our way to Dashinga Camp in Matusadana. After four hours, we had only covered 40 kilometers, so I wanted to increase our speed. That was a mistake. This, as you can see, is a total stuff up, trailer overturned, and we are now going to try and jack it up and upright it. It's pretty buggered. Fuel sack is off. Okay, let's try again. this morning. Okay for now. Kids just mind out the way there. Right, here we go. Nothing Mr. Nagai ever can fix. Next, a solo trip to Mabua Suhubi in southern Botswana. Letting air out of the tyres. This track had not seen a vehicle in years. The grass in the centre was a problem, dangerously so. I stopped every 10 kilometers or so to brush the grass off the radiator, but never considered the dry grass accumulating against the hot exhaust underneath. It reached flashpoint 80 kilometers down the track. Fortunately, I was able to get underneath the vehicle in time with a fire extinguisher and put the fire out. This is as far as my journey would go, so I made camp here slept on the roof rack with a bonnet up to prevent cats from jumping up during the night, checking what the damage was. To Van Sales Pass in the Kirchfeld, sleeping under the stars. Nobody who travels this track will forget this stretch, which is about 17 kilometers before Fonsales Pass itself. Um, you're quite a big job now. Should I get out the way? Don't run over my toes. Well done, man. It was very brave and what a pressure player.
passengers have to walk just in case the vehicle rolls down the hill. An adventure into Sulu, south of Dar es Salaam. The village called so Masanga. Mark again. Mark again. A hundred kilometers further, the track started to disintegrate. Sitting at camp on a level part of the track. No? This was the eighth tree that had fallen across the track. There was no way past it. You just uh, put your land here so we break, break this one, we chop this part of the way. Yeah. Yeah. While signs of the track were still there, it had become quite overgrown. This bridge has clearly not been used for the past 25 years, so we needed to find another way, which turned out to be quite easy. We eventually got to Sudu and set up camp on the banks of the Rafiji River. We were running out of fuel, so I had to change our plans and find the shortest route over the Uluguru Mountains to Morogoro, 166 kilometers beyond Kisaki. Sunday morning in Kisaki. Kisaki. Yeah, it's right. Well, one hell of a gauntlet awaited us. Our homeward journey would be via Nkata Bay 
on Lake Malawi. <laughs>